It tastes like the gummy, the kind of gummies you'd win in prizes or as prizes from Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, no. <laughs> God, these videos are always interesting. I never, I never know what I'm in for going into, um one of these videos but it's always an adventure <laughs> um so hey welcome to today's video um if you have never seen one of my dollar store taste testings let me just give you a quick rundown of why these are these are even a thing in the first place um so there have been a bunch of candy in the past that i've purchased from the dollar store because they have you know brand names on it and then I, I taste test them in videos and they end up being so bad, it's genuinely hard to believe the brand itself would allow something like this to be released. So it's almost just kind of like the mystery of the dollar store. And so every time I do one of these taste testings, it is genuinely a hit or miss kind of situation. You could end up with some like, all right, that's not bad. That's some candy I could eat. Or you could end up with ring pops that say they're sour but end up tasting more chemically than anything else um but yeah so today we have a fun mix of stuff that has brand name on it and then a couple things that are just a random brand that i have to assume are dollar store or a dollar store brand of some sort or just a, i don't even know what, what you would call them um but i i think we're gonna start with that and then move into the things that have big brand names on them but it's questionable as to whether or not they're going to be good so let's get started okay so the first two are from the same brand um and it is a brand called yummy yummy gummy candy and we've got some ruby bananas and sweet strawberries um, and then on the back of this one it says they also have funny bears and watermelon slices and on the back of this one it says they also have unicorns, ice cream, and cola bottles. So they do have a solid range of stuff. Um, let's, let's see how they taste. Okay, so the strawberries look like that. But what I find is interesting is this one's kind of on the thinner side, and this one, she, she's like real thick in comparison. I don't know if you'd be able to tell side by side. But either way. It tastes like the gummy, the kind of gummies you'd win in prizes or as prizes from Chuck E. Cheese. The banana, on the other hand, is not half bad. It has the um, the banana flavor of like a banana Laffy Taffy, that kind of banana flavor. Um, in a semi-chewy, semi-soft gummy, I would say they're very middle of the line when it comes to that. It's sanded, so it means it's got that sugar coating on it. So it's got good texture, the sweetness around it, the flavor is very nice. Uh, this is actually really good. Um, the strawberry on the other hand, very much, like I said, reminded me of like Chuck E. Cheese prize type candy. Um, kind of plasticky in taste in a way not great so I find it interesting that that these both come from the same brand they're two very different flavor profiles like not even just that one's strawberry and one's banana but in, in that they're one is um, actually quite good and the other one's just got weird ass flavors to it so yeah I find that uh, very interesting but that's the fun of dollar store candy all right so like i said the next three items are all have brand brand name on them so fingers crossed that they're just from the brand itself and they're gonna be really good but that's that's the mystery of it all okay so we're going to start with these hershey's cookies and cream cookie bites white chocolate or white cream with a chocolate cookie center because i feel like how could these be bad you know what i mean like how could you go wrong with this i didn't mean to open the whole pack like that Okay, so first off, it does not have the dollar store disease is what I think we're gonna call it. It doesn't taste like it came from the dollar store. This tastes like it very much, more than likely came from Hershey itself. Um, 
It remind. It's obviously supposed to be like their cookies and cream bar, but in little ball form. So I think it's fun. I like the convenience of it. Um, however, I personally like the bar better. But my reason being is that the ratio of cream to the little chocolate pieces is higher. Like you get more of the cream milk chocolateness in the bar itself, where in this you get a higher ratio of those cookie pieces. So if you like those better, you'd probably like these better. Either way, they're really good. But yeah, that's that's how I think would be a good tell as to whether or not you would like these. Okay, so this next one, I've personally never seen sour watermelon sharks from Trolley. I could be wrong, um, but that's what made me gravitate towards this because I've never seen them. I've never heard of them. Let's try them. Okay, the smell of the bag is not promising. I'd also say that their layering job is not so great. There's supposed to be a layer of green on the bottom and it's more like sparse amounts of green. All right, despite the smell and the lack of layering, these are delicious. The flavor is really good. They're really soft, like when you bite into them, they're very soft, which means they do stick in your teeth a little bit or it's kind of sticky. But if you like a good watermelon gummy candy of some sorts, these are really good. I wouldn't mind if they were a tiny bit more sour, but I personally love sour stuff and I love when stuff is really sour. So that's why I wouldn't mind if it's a little bit more sour, but like if you're sensitive to sour, you'd probably be like, no, these are, these, these are sour. But either way, these most definitely surpassed my expectations because I love a good watermelon candy. Like, do you know those lip gummy candies? I'll throw up a picture of them because they're super popular usually around like Valentine's Day. Those things are amazing and one of them is watermelon flavored and this is very close to that flavor. Not spun on, but very close. Okay, so this video felt kind of quick today, so apologies if it was a little um, on the fast side. But the final item for today is one that made me a little nervous because I found it at the dollar store. However, this is a new item that I knew was coming out. It says new on it. Um, it came out in, I would say, the past six to eight months. Um, I couldn't find it. I haven't been able to find it. I don't know if it was just like in some stores and didn't do well, so it ended up at the dollar store or what the deal is, um, but either way, these are Warheads Galactic Mix Cubes in the flavors Rocket Raspberry, Cosmic Punch, and Black Hole Cherry. All right, first off, I love the packaging on this. I think the packaging is super cool, um, and I'm very excited to try these. Ooh, even the inside of the bag is cool. The inside of the bag, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is like, yeah, like this hot pink metallic oh that's cool okay so the only thing that sucks is i feel like it's gonna be nearly impossible to tell which flavor is which however i think i can tell this one's blue that looks like it's probably purple actually i don't know if i'm gonna be able to discern the purple and the red okay well either way Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm literally sitting here noticing how on my fingertips all of that little the little bead things on the outside of that were getting on my fingertips and I was like, oh man, it's like all of my fingers. And all of a sudden I was like, oh no. Okay, now I'm mildly embarrassed to talk, but thankfully that was the final item of the video because, oh, wow, that's just like, oh, wow. Okay, so anyways, um, about the actual item itself, those are delicious. They're really good. The flavors are really good. The gummies are really nice. They're um, at the same texture level as I would say the bananas were they were somewhere between soft and chewy which i think is a good is a good thing to be they're not too chewy they're not too soft they're kind of right in the middle um the stuff on the outside provides a nice and fun texture to the item itself they are fairly sour they're a good level of sour for what you'd be expecting because they're warhead i personally would love to see them take a gummy to the next level i think for some reason it's harder to make a gummy 
as sour uh, as it is to like make a warhead or an atomic bomb, you know, those kinds of things. I think there's there's got to be a reason it's harder to make a gummy that sour. So I would love to see if warheads would be able to figure that out someday to somehow make one of their gummies as sour as their hard candies are because there's definitely a difference. Um, but either way, I this is easily my favorite thing of the video, but those trolley watermelon sharks are not far behind. And so I would say this was a positive and nice turnout for a dollar store taste testing for, I mean, for 80% of the items because like I just said, the Warheads and the Sharks were good, the Hershey Cookie Bites were good, those bananas were actually good, it was just the strawberries that were not, not super great. Um, but yeah, so I hope this is a fun little addition to the fall Halloween season. I wanted to throw something a little different in there just to spruce it up during the Halloween fall season. Um, and then I have another dollar store taste testing that I'll do sometime after Halloween. So if you're interested in seeing another one of these, I'd highly recommend subscribing. If you liked this and you're excited for that, I would love if you'd give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out. It supports me. It also lets me know what, uh, what you like. So yeah, I'm excited for that. That one's going to be fun because I have, um, two different knockoff dollar store brands that have the same items that we're gonna we're gonna do a little like compare and contrast kind of thing so that should be fun and yeah with that that comes the end of this video i thank you so much for watching i hope you'll stick around for the next one and i will see you in the next one <laughs> bye